Hello and welcome to Activity 12.1 Using Event Viewer. So, to navigate to Event Viewer, we're going to click on Start, Computer, and right click Manage. Under the System Tools, we're going to expand Event Viewer, click Event Viewer. Here we can see the summary of events on the system over various time frames and sorted by event type. This makes it easy for us to address critical events and errors. So, we're going to give it a minute to load up. And in the middle pane, we're clicking Error. This gives us a summary of all the error events on our system so that we can quickly scan over them. If we are not able to expand error, it's because we have no errors to report. In the left pane, click System. Here would be displayed all of the messages in the system log. And there they are. In the middle pane, select an event. And here we can see information about the event. Under details, we can see some more specific information about the event. And this also has the option for XML view, which is more appropriate for administrators. In the left pane, we're going to navigate to the Applications and Services log. Expand Microsoft. Expand Windows. These logs in this folder are specific to particular applications and services. This feature was not available in Windows XP. In the left pane, we are going to click Custom Views. And this filters the event logs on the local computer to make specified events viewable in a single location. We can see that the administrative events custom view is here by default. Right click administrative custom views and click properties. Click Edit Filter. We cannot modify this filter because the view is created by the system. However, we can see that spe we can specify which events and which logs to include. We can also filter based on event ID, task category, keywords, user, or computer. And that's Activity 12.1 using Event Viewer. Thanks for watching.